The sword is arguably the best weapon in Sea of Thieves, but it clearly stands out as the most versatile. With it, you can quickly dispose of enemies, dodge attacks, and the use of its sword lunge creatively can ensure you board an enemy vessel or travel quickly to and from islands. Over the next two tutorials, we will showcase two sword based techniques. This first technique is known by most pirate council crews as quick slashing or instant transmission, a term coined by the Blue Devils Warmaster Teuton Nick. This is an advanced sword technique that combines the agility of bunny hops with sword slashes. Used properly, this technique will confuse your opponent, make you harder to hit, and propel you behind an enemy to avoid their block. To master this advanced technique, you first need to learn the two basic techniques that it combines. First is bunny hopping. Bunny hopping is the act of comboing a normal jump with a dash, also known as a block jump. To start, hold right click to block and dash in a direction of your choice. As soon as you land, let go of right click and perform a normal jump. Once you land again, perform a dash. You are now bunny hopping. You will need to be able to hold a constant rhythm of bunny hops to perform instant transmission at its fullest potential. It's best to practice these until they become muscle memory. Next is dash attack. For this wide range attack, you need to perform a block jump and a sword slash at the same time. Press right click block and jump at the same time and attack just a split second later. If done correctly, the attack and the jump should be one smooth animation. To achieve instant transmission, you need to replace the dash of your bunny hops with the dash attack. This technique only works if the slash you perform hits the target. The target can be anything, the ground, a mast, an ally or an enemy. Since the Shrouded Spoils update, performing instant transmission on terrain or a ship doesn't work as well anymore, so it's best to practice on islands. Let's put this technique into practice. Today I'm joined by Rogue Legends members Gafar and the Jaguar, who will be demonstrating this technique. First, Gafar dash attacks into Jaguar. Notice how he bypasses past Jaguar's defense and is hitting him from behind. Next, Gafar performs a normal jump away before dash attacking into Jaguar. He repeats this until Jaguar is dead. Instant transmission is not the fastest way to kill an enemy because you're only using the first slash of a sword combo. However, it completely negates getting slowed down while attacking and makes you a difficult target to hit. It is best to use it to jump around or through the enemy with sudden changes of direction that makes it hard for your enemy to follow your movements or counter attack. If you mess up an attack, retreat a few steps from your target and get back into your rhythm. A side note for Xbox users, sharp changes of direction are hard to perform when using a controller, which makes this technique easier to perform using mouse and keyboard. If you want to perform this technique with a controller, it's best to make the radius you're fighting in wider and move in circles. A quick tip, try to remap your jump button to be on the right analog stick. It makes it easy to jump around and turn at the same time. And that's it for today's tutorial. We hope you enjoyed today's video and we look forward to seeing more users perform instant transmission out on the seas. Stay tuned for our next video which will also be an advanced sword technique. Where Steve Owens Revenge representing the Pirate Council, thank you for watching.